guys was good triple j boxing we got david benavidez hitting the mitts here with matthew atala the boxer gym and yeah david benavidez he's always very explosive on the mitts looks very powerful he was huge for 168 at 175 people are criticizing him i mean i wouldn't full on be hating on him for one performance against Guavsdick cuz Guavsdick is like no joke like he's only lost once to uh Archer Better Beev and uh I think it took Archer Better Beev quite a long time to get him out of there I think it was like round 10 or 11 and Guavsdick wasn't the same guy after he put um Adonis Stevenson in a coma that definitely affected him mentally it would me like if I did that to someone you would feel bad you know what I mean and you got and you got to think, guys. He was the guy to dethrone Adonis Stevenson, uh, Guavsdick. So like, people are hating on David Benavides, but he faced one of the best guys at the division in the last like ten years. Um, so, but I do think that his size, he's not going to have that same kind of advantage he did at one sixty eight, which is true. But he's still a solid big one seventy five. He's not small for that division. Um, but yeah, guys, he's not going to be fighting Canelo next. He's going to be fighting Bivolvers better be of winner, which is, that's amazing. That's a great fight. But then at that point, do we even want to seek the Canelo fight after that? Because that's like, that's a bigger fight, I feel like, than the Canelo fight. Like if you were to fight the winner of Bivol better be of, that's already a higher level fight than the Canelo fight. Obviously, for the casual fan and money-wise, Canelo is still going to be the bigger fight. But I mean like the tougher fight will probably be Bivol or better Bev. let's be honest. Um, and I got Bivol winning against better Bev, but I mean, both guys are going to give uh, Benavides problems. I would say Bivol might give more problems to uh, David Benavides, but I'm just going because Bivol's style, his master of distance, and he's younger. Um, but you never know. Styles make fights. And, and not, don't get me wrong, guys. I will still want to see uh, David Benavides versus Canelo after that. It's just it won't be as big as if it happened like right now, I guess. But because like I said, the Bivol better be of that's like a bigger challenge in my opinion than Canelo. So you'd be stepping down a bit going back to Canelo. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, guys, he's looking good on the mitts here, looking powerful and, uh, yeah, boxing fans need to stop like hating on a guy for like one and it's not like it was bad performance, but I mean, when they, when they expect a guy to do, they're, they're expecting a guy to do more and then they, it's either you did great or you did shit. There is like no balance. There is no like, oh, he did all right. It's uh, either one end of the spectrum or the other. You know what I mean? And he didn't fight a bum, guys. He fought Guavsdick. Like I said, one of the best light heavyweights of the last 10 years. This guy dethroned Adonis Stevenson. Like, only lost to better Bev when he went into going into the Benavides fight. So, but anyway, guys. Um, yeah, David Benavides only wants big fights. You got to you gotta respect that. He could have taken an easier route, but he chose uh, a tough route at light heavyweight. So, it's Triple J Boxing. Thanks for watching, guys.